Howdy folks, I am Ruskio, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2. In the last episode, we ran into Fuyuhiko at the diner, um, we ran into Ibuki and Nekamaru and Akane on the beach, here behind the diner, and we basically just kind of skipped out. Oh, we also ran into Mikan in the pharmacy. Uh, she was happy at the prospect of injecting vaccines into people. Anyway, in this one, we're going to go ahead, take a look through the beach house, and uh, see what else we got on this island. I thought this was a beach house, since it's near the edge of the beach. Beach? It looks pretty luxurious. I guess. It's a celebrity-style beach house. Hey there, Kaz. How you doing? What, you find anything? Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something. Shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private, it's awesome. Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on the island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Uh, hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Awesome, totally awesome. Splash around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his he's his usual go ha happy go lucky self. Well, I guess there's one that's one of his good qualities. Huh? I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't. Well, it's here. Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, so you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never going to give up. Give her up. You might let her down, though. Oh my god, we just got Rickrolled! Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked! Ah, uh, he's here! You? Oh, you. What are you holding? <sighs> A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death! That's just common sense! It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. Ugh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. C control yourself up. Oh, Monami, you're going to get it. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. I'm surprised she didn't get shot down right then and there. Um, as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please le please refrain from changing at the beach house. Well, that was totally bizarre, man. They're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Uh, what else we got? We got a refrigerator. This must be the one stocked with drinks that he was talking about. Water and coffee. Most of drinks, most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Uh, who's gonna... Who's there to give money to? That's a fancy-looking bench. It looks like something you'd see at a resort. It's a little out of place. Oh, wow, we can look at, like, everything in here, can't we? Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. So... I wonder if that'll come into play at all. Uh, what else we got? We got beachside door. Uh, this is probably the roadside. Yeah, the roadside door closer to that. Um, is there anything worth grabbing? Probably not, since there was a mono, uh, monokuma out on the beach. Um, he said the shower's out of order. Uh, looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Uh, who knows if it would get fixed any time. Well, we do have the ultimate mechanic, so maybe he'll do something about it. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. 
I guess I should ask him about that. Okay, I guess we'll talk to Kazuichi again. Ah, uh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? What was it? Well, it's about Nagito. Huh? I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Ah, uh, I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. So let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the, con he ended the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. Ah, Hajime. Oh, it's Chiaki. What happened? Um, I'm letting everyone else know, too, but... Can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away. Okay. Hurry up. Hmm. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. And I guess I should have head over to the ancient ruins. Oh, and I guess we're just immediately transported there. That's nice. I guess that's probably all we needed to find. I guess they must be done. I guess Hiyoko and Mahiro must be down at their shower. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. Did you miss it on the way in? How could you? However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Um... I think we just found a direct link to the very first game, so... I, I may be forced to talk about it. Um... Anyway, I see in the background what looks like a door into the ancient ruins. Looks like a very large, round door. Very similar to another very large, round door in the first game. It seems, perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? That's kind of what I was afraid of. That's kind of what I was thinking, too, when we first saw it, but I didn't get the opportunity to really look at it. But I do see what she means. Yeah. This looks like Hope's Peak. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this room looks simil similar. Yeah, he's not buying it. It's a coincidence, right? You found something, right, Chiaki? What'd you find? I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. I d didn't know you were here also? That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? No, no nothing like that. Aw, uh, then who cares? I should have paid in the bath with my hero more. Then, what in the world did you find? She seemed pretty excited about it, but she's not saying anything. Um, you know... Wow, yeah, you can really get a look at this thing, can't you? Well, sorry about any sun, sorry about any sun glare. I have, like, no control over that. Although I don't see an opportunity to really uh, look at anything, so... I mean, there's all that stuff down there. Um... And there's the big old door. Alright, so, uh, since Chiaki's probably our trigger person, we'll just go down the line. I, I've talked to everyone, but nobody has seen Nagito. However, Kazuichi and Nakumaru seemed uncomfortable discussing it. What are they hiding? Hey, my hero. You get her all washed up? It just occurred to me, but have you seen Nagito anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. I see. Jeez, this goes for Fuyu Hiko too. But your boy should really get a hold of yourselves. Man, what the heck? I want you to play with my Hebrew and your bash some more. I'm wondering. Okay, I gotta look. I gotta look this up because she acts a lot younger than everyone else. And I th didn't they say that she was actually like the same age and stuff? It doesn't actually give age. I kind of figured it would. Well, but I mean, we're all going, we're all in the same class, so I would think that would indicate, um, 
I would I, I I thought that would have indicated the same age range, but she really does act a lot younger than the rest of the group. A new land has opened. However, it does not mean we will find salvation there. Grief is all that awaits us, but that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying he didn't find anything useful on this island. Is that it? Who knows what the hell he's talking about. I took the time to come all the way here. If it's a waste of my time, I will fucking cut you. Hey, after we finish exploring these ruins, let's invite Miss Sonya and have some fun splashing around at that private beach. Cool. My bad. Everyone's invited. Right? Right? Seriously, this guy, he's just so carefree. I, for a second there, I thought I clicked on the wrong person. Coach Negamaru sure strong. I'm definitely going to win before I get out of here. She could at least make an effort to help us find a way out of here. I did not find anything at the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find something here. Oh, Sonya. You still crushing on the murders? I tried looking around the library, but I could not find a way to escape. However, I was able to read the newest issue of an occult magazine. That is quite a discovery. Of course you'd be happy about that. Newest it. Newest magazine. New newest, huh? So... Uh, what's the date on it, I wonder? Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I was so excited about the drugstore that I completely forgot to find a way off this island. It sounds like she was only thinking about giving people shots. Then, there weren't any clues at the drugstore? Well, there was lots of medicine, and lots of syringes, and needles. So, shots then. I'm sorry! Yeah, she's... Yeah. If <laughs> she stabs someone to death with syringes, that's gonna freak me the hell out. Chiaki was investigating this place really thoroughly. Is she a ruins enthusiast? Well, let's see what she has to say. Hey, Chiaki, what'd you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with the island secret, maybe? Well, now you're clamming up. What's the deal, girl? Hmm. About that... I don't know. What do you mean? You don't know. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. That's... It's unnatural like that. That's a little... Yeah, it's quite unnatural if you ask me, going from one, to, from one thing to something completely different. Look! That door, that door over there. The door? Yeah, see? I was talking about that. Um, God, we are so close. Screw it, we're doing it. Oh, whoa, lagging. Sorry about that. Is it really just the door? Oh, I guess so. Okay. Just the door. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but... This is the door you mean, right? Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. So, what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Well, before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by a natural. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Shiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. It's... It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is the symbol on the door? Yeah, that's different. Hmm. <gasps> it looks like it's Japanese. Ah, you're totally right! Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai, or Future. Future? This is weird. Hey, who cares about the symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you fucking open it? 
What's inside? It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Alright, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Acting all high and mighty, so what's next? It's obviously impossible to put the password without any hints. Uh, are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Hmm? What do you mean, dangerous? Uh, it couldn't be the freaking Gatling gun on the side of the damn door. Because the thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun. There's a gun? People, what are you, what are you looking at? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's, prob it's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password. Right? Damn it! It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. Yeah, <laughs> he's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Important place, huh? Problem is, how's it important? Um... And... Um... Dodgy as hell. You're both quiet. You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no... I have no idea at all. I... Don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who can cover that door with dust, right? Ah, uh, just as I thought, you guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch! Yeah, I'm sorry! Say you're sorry, bitch! Um, she did. I just said it! I just said! I'm sorry! Is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might have been a shelter and there might be natives inside. Is something like... Is, is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed! Hmm... Several possibilities cross my mind. But, it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But, not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? For instance, even though Monami and I can, can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too! Does that mean you're the same as me and... What's happening? Oh... Hey! Keep your tongue in your mouth! Yeah. My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that! So weird. There! Now that I've shut my sister up with a fantastic Pegasus Meteor Fist, this is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monomi and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. Huh, <laughs> that seems easy enough. All we got to do is remember that black and the right Tanuki said before. Oh. Uh... Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island, that's right! There's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. Wait, he doesn't know? There's a traitor among us. That's why that ugly Tanuki said before. <laughs> Calling me an ugly and a Tanuki. 
<laughs> Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Or maybe whoever is controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding in there. But do you really think there's a traitor among us? Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Monokumura, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Oh, just... Have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender. I'm the one asking you a question. Don't change the subject. Wow, who you eagles really? <gasps> oh crap! This exploded on me. Damn. Well, shoot. I guess. I guess this is the middle of my third one for the day. Damn it! Bam! I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an, emb an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no wait, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So, what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Wait, ended? As in past tense? That's not an overstatement or metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So, don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? You mean, they're a terrorist organization? Terrorist, huh? Well, that might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. So... In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. Then how the hell did we get here? So what? Don't say the things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're going to say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island. World Ender is behind it all. Why are you being targeted? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us, like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey, you better stop. Shut up, Monomi. Big Brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No, don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off! Wow, that was a, th that was a hell of a uh, info dump. Monokuma and Monomi departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? Is there anybody who understood what the hell he was talking about? Not a clue. Oh, did you just wake up from your nap? For now... Since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think 
It's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. Yeah, you're probably right. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Um, isn't that what she just said? Let's just call it a day. Yeah, that's just what we got done saying. Why did why did why did my hero have to say anything there? That doesn't make any damn sense. After exploring the new island, we all all we uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. And we'll go just a bit longer. Okay, so all so all the three stickers that I found on the second island ended up in the same on the same shelf. So it mu it definitely has to go by island in that case. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't need I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should just go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. Ah, Monokuma Theater. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I don't like. I also don't like shrimp. Apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. Caviar. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. What? It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to take me over... To try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never, ever eat red foods. You see? Our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Make sure you guys be careful, too. Oh, gee, that's not ominous at all. Man. And if I were smarter, I might be able to figure it out, but I'm as dumb as a rock when it comes to vague hints like that. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it all our all today. Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like the night just got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should go to the restaurant and eat something. Okay, well... I think we'll go ahead and we will do that in the next one. So, uh, uh, in the next episode, uh, we're going to go ahead, head off to the restaurant, uh, probably talk with whoever's there, and then we can get started on what I'm thinking might end up being free time, or at the very least, uh, a in-depth search for where what happened to Nagito, what, what uh, Nekomaru and Kazuichi did to Nagito. Um, if they tied him up and hit him in a room or something, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. Um, so, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.